Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to BSS Online School. How are you all? Hope you all are safe and fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I'm Emily Sohil sir, your math teacher. Today I'm here to teach you exercise 15.2, 15.3. Before we start few words about COVID-19, uh, wash your hands frequently, uh, maintain social distance and follow the guideline from WHO and given from the government of our country. Let's enter exercise 15.2. 15.2, 15.3, few basic formula we have to learn. The first one, probability of an event not happening, like not chances. Always we have to subtract from 1 because certain is 1. Possible, always 1. And if it's not possible, we have to subtract anything, any event from 1 number. As like 1 minus possibility of an event not happening. Okay, the next one, estimated probability. The formula is number of times the outcome did happen and total number of the time the activity happened. The second one, theoretical probability, it's number of time the outcome can happen and the denominator will be possible outcomes, total number of possible outcomes. Let's enter for exercise 15.2, simple space diagram. The first one, they're saying a normal dice is rule. Dice, we know that six number we have okay now they are asking what is the probability of getting an even number how many even number we have in a dice two four six it's mean three number we have so we can tell that three by six which we can write one by two so you can write three by six or one by two no problem let's enter second one what is the probability of getting an odd number exactly opposite obviously three odd number is there one three five in a dice so same answer should be one by two so the next questions uh, two number a dice is rolled okay a dice is rolled saying we have a six number so a number they're asking what is the probability of getting a three remember how many three number we have in a dice one and total possible outcome is six so we can tell one by six is our answer okay next one what is the probability not getting a 3 not getting yes mean we know the formula we have to subtract from 1 so if we subtract 6 minus 1 how much you got 5 so should be 5 by 6 again i'm repeating these questions they are asking what is the probability of not getting when they're using the not what we have to subtract from 1 uh, whatever the number they're asking <clears throat> 3 we have just one time so 1 so 6 minus 1 is 5 so answer should be 5 by 6 let's enter next one the probability that a counter chosen at random from a bag with red is 4 by 13 possibility is 4 by 13 now they are asking what is the probability that the counter will not be it will not be it's mean when they're using not i said you you have to use subtract from one so one minus whatever the fractions they have given four by 13. so if it is the lcm and the denominator is 13 and uh, 13 multiplied by one it's 13 and uh, the another one 13 divided by 13 it's got one four multiplied by one is four so 13 minus four we can tell a nine so our answer is 9 by 13 is my answer let's enter 50 exercise 15.3 question number one very long questions that given but read it uh, lucky has a pick 10 bits in a bag total number is 10 remember that is very important we numbers that the bits are red yellow blue how many color you have three color now Jessica does not know how many of each color there are she carried out an experiment to help her to guess the number of a bits each color she takes a bit from the bag record it color then replace the bits she used these 30 times is very important total how many times she did 30 okay her results are given in a table okay look at the table red color uh, yellow color blue color and the second uh, column they have given tally max third column frequency you have to write down what is the frequency the number of tally we know that so how many tally we are watching left side 5 and right side it's a 4 5 plus 4 9 so red should be 9 yellow 6 blue should be 5 5 5 3 5 15 so let's start our work 
okay first we have to draw a table red color yellow color blue color if you can see it was 9 6 15 we get from the questions we count the tally max and we get the frequency table now they are asking estimated probability we have to find out we know the formula estimated probability it's uh, the frequency number divided by the uh, total number of even whatever uh, what uh, we have done so she did 30 times so 9 by 30 in a short form uh, we can tell 3 by 10 if we use 3 times table over there uh, 3 tens are 30 and 3 threes are 9 same process uh, 6 by uh, 30 uh, 5 times every week uh, 6 times so we can use, use over here 6 1 the 6 5 6 are 30 so 1 by 5 we get that and the third one we can tell the blue color 15 by 30 uh, 15 uh, 1 to 15 15 to the 30 so we got the fractions 1 by 2 so this is my answer of estimated probability remember that estimated probability will be that okay next one b number they are asking use the estimate probability the right side the last column we use we have work out they are asking use that to calculate the number of red yellow and blue bits in the bag actual the theoretical we have to work out okay red bits red bits to find out the red bits we have to remember the estimate probability is uh, 3 by 10 and total number of uh, bits was 10 at the first time we learned that so 3 by 10 by 10 if I cut 10 by 10 which is like 3 so you have 3 red bits okay let's go to the next one yellow bits yellow what is the fractions 1 by 5 1 by 5 multiplied by 10 if I use 5 times 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 so we get 2 over there and the third one blue bits it fraction was 1 by 2 1 by 2 multiplied by 10 which is 2 times table 2 5 is a 10 answer is 5 so we in this way we can work out uh, the actual number of the bits hope you enjoy this video thank you very much stay home stay safe Allah.